Hello, you wonderful people. So for today's video, I wanted to kind of talk about the whole discussion between, you know, binging TV shows versus week to week. And now this is coming from someone who, like, even though I there are quite a few TV shows I watch that are binge, whether it be something that's on Netflix or Amazon, but even Hulu itself kind of apparently like flip-flops back and forth between week to week stuff and in other occasions it seems like it's all out at once. But nevertheless, I majority of what I watch personally is on a week to week basis. I think that also stems from the fact is that I do a review show and I typically break stuff down for, on a week to week basis. But even then, like you do have like your Netflix and your Amazon things, which I do like a full season review, not like an episode by episode review when it comes to certain things, you know, um, week to week. But it's so interesting to be like, you know, the whole conversation, like I said, because my circumstances are a little different because I do, I review TV shows, but I'm curious, uh, you know, from a wider audience perspective, how do most people fall into that category? Do they prefer the whole aspect of being able to kind of get everything all at once? Which I can understand that as, you know, as someone who consumes TV, like I can understand that notion of like, I don't like the whole week to week thing because it's just like, oh, I have to wait till next week to get the conclusion of this. But like, you, like I said, you do something like Netflix, it's like, oh, right into the next episode, right into the next episode until you get the entire season, which is great. But at the same time, the drawback is like, no matter what, even whether you're getting something week to week or whether you're getting something um, all at once, the fact of the matter is you're always going to have to wait for the next season anyway. But I always feel like, I mean, you know, maybe it depends on, you know, production and stuff like that. But I always feel like you're going to wait so much longer over something you watched an entire weekend compared to something you've watched over the course of, you know, maybe 13 to 20-ish weeks. Obviously, there might be some time in, in between, depending on if a show takes any breaks or whatever. But, um, I mean, because it's also that thing of, like, it almost, it's, and it's a conversation I've heard brought up too where it's kind of, it makes you almost feel kind of bad where it's like someone's put all this time and effort into like a TV show or something and you literally watch and plow through it within like a day or two. Whereas everything else, like, you know, you take time to kind of like, you know, and enjoy all of it bit by bit. And, I mean, at the end of the day, it comes down to what you personally want, but at the same time, it's just it's just something when you kind of get the flip side of that, when you think about that, like, oh yeah, you're kind of taking this person's hard work and you're just taking it in one or two days and then you just, it kind of, you know, because I feel like a lot of times, I don't always feel bad about it, is I feel like stuff that I binge, I feel like stays in my mind a little less. Uh, which, to be fair, most things I end up binging, I typically end up rewatching just to keep things fresher in my mind. But week to week stuff, I feel like sticks in my mind a little bit more because I've had time for it to mull over in my head. And that's a big conversation in itself because when something is week to week, you do have time to kind of like, oh, like, you know, theorize. And that's kind of like a big thing that I do. I like to think like, oh, what does this mean for like the next episode or the episode after that? Like, what does this episode mean going forward? You don't, you have time like that when you're binging something, but you don't really have time to sit on things because you're going right to the straight to the next episode. I mean, that depends on, once again, if you're like me, that all comes down to your own viewing habit because not everyone's going to go like plow through a TV show like I did because like I said, my circumstance is a little bit different because I review TV shows and stuff like that. But for, I still, I still feel like the general public will still like, you know, depending on what the show is and if you like it enough, you're going to go through it, you know, pretty quickly and within the span of maybe one or two days, depending on what your life is like and how much of your schedule is open. Because that's actually a big debate. I'm sure like even a lot of like, you know, network slash streaming services are having right now because like Netflix had kind of set the standard for being that binge thing of like when the new season's out you can watch the entire season all at once I think I even remember a little while back like Netflix talked about the fact is or at least something to come out that Netflix doesn't like the term binging but basically you know I think there's kind of a negative connotation to like referring to like their content as binge con content but regardless um I brought it up earlier because even like Amazon does it all at once but then like I brought up Hulu Hulu apparently flip-flops because I haven't watched a whole bunch of stuff on Hulu, but I do know there's some things like uh, Four Weddings and a Funeral. Like it kept saying like new episodes every Wednesday, but then it seemed like, I don't know if it's like literally a new episode every Wednesday because it seemed like the episodes were coming out in chunks, like maybe a couple episodes here, a couple episodes. That's what it seemed like to me, but you know, maybe I'm completely wrong about it because I don't watch enough stuff on Hulu to really know, but I have heard about the week to week thing. It's something like even like the act, I think, Handmaid, Handmaid's Tale might be like that, I think. 
like I said, I'm not sure, but um, even um, but then you take something like uh, Marvel's Runaway, which is something I am more familiar with. Uh, season one came out week to week, but season two came out all at once, which begs the question: What are they going to do about season three? Are they going to go back to week to week, or is it going to be all at once like season two? I don't know. Maybe that wasn't necessarily Hulu's decision. Maybe there were other participating like decisions for that. I don't know. Because even, um, you know, Netflix has dabbled with the whole like week to week thing, which is a complicated thing for them because it's like, because you've gotten everyone so used to the whole way things have been run for so long, for so many years of everything kind of being all at once. The fact of the matter is it, you know, it takes a while for people to kind of adjust to the whole potential week to week thing. So I'm curious to see, is that something they are going to continue rolling out slowly, but surely kind of testing the waters to see how people in general feel about that and then potentially shifting it in that direction. And it's not going to be all at once thing if they do that. I'm sure it's only going to be certain content that's like that and other things is still going to stay the whole you know, all at once type of, you know, situation. But the question then becomes like, how long will it stay like that? Will they eventually shift over completely to a week to week thing? I don't know. Because even if you don't watch something live on television, which that's something that's kind of interesting for a lot of people, the whole thing of like, because of TV, you know, people kind of moved away from the being able to like watching things live. It's kind of like, you can kind of, because of on demand, because of streaming services and stuff like that, you can kind of watch stuff whenever you kind of want to, especially if something is just specific to a streaming service, whether it's a Netflix or Amazon or a Hulu, you can kind of watch it whenever you want to, not necessarily a particular schedule. Like once it's dropped, it's dropped and it's there. I mean, obviously once again, the Hulu thing is, you know, an exception if, you know, if it's a week to week thing, so. It's something that I feel like some people have kind of got to get readjusted to, but because, like I said, I still do the week to week day, I know at what times TV shows come out and on what day, you know, so it's not, well, once again, it's like, is that a general public? I mean, who knows? Most people might do the whole thing of like, I don't like waiting week to week, so they might stockpile episodes just because their schedule doesn't allow for them to do the week to week thing. So they might stockpile a couple episodes, one weekend, binge whatever episodes they, you know, need to catch up on and so on and so forth. Like one example I've always heard was someone who's like, Feel however you want to feel about the show. I personally like the show, but again, it's like the view, pe different people have viewing habits. I know some people do not like watching The Walking Dead week to week. It's just for them, it's like, because some episodes are hit and missing them. So for them, it's like, I'll be them and say like, ah, I'll leave this on in the background. But it's like, hey, I can go straight to the next episode. But watching it week to week, being completely caught up, is not a good thing for some people. So some people will just wait for the entire season to be out, which I'm sure that also affects like ratings and stuff like that on the shows that come out week to week. It's a whole you know a thing in itself I mean that in itself is a whole other conversation but the whole week to week thing is kind of interesting because uh, you take something like DC Universe, a very new uh, streaming service. They do everything week to week because also, for one, when it comes to the original TV shows and stuff like that, they don't have many. So they're slowly unveiling everything whereas like a Netflix, they have enough content that if they did decide they want to go week to week or something like that, it would be okay because there'd be enough to kind of draw people in. Whereas something like a DC Universe, which is still relatively new, doesn't have enough of a back, I mean, in certain regards, like when it comes to like, the, I mean, no, no, I take that back. It's like, well, no, because DC Universe has like a huge back catalog. But when it comes to like its newer content, where it's like Netflix is kind of pumping out stuff, movies, TV shows, like all the time. So there's always kind of something relatively new. Whereas, you know, DC Universe, they kind of unveil their new stuff little by little. Because that's even a mentality that we've, we've recently heard that Disney is doing. Like apparently when The Mandalorian drops, it's going to be week to week. And I heard some interesting conversation about that too. Like the whole thing I brought up earlier of like, it stays in your mind more because this way it keeps you constantly coming back so that's another thing to think about too when it comes to the week to week thing it does keep you tuning back in whereas before it's like kind of knock everything all at once it's kind of like in conversations amongst you and people for a little while and then it kind of disappears this way the conversation spans over days months I mean weeks then potentially months depending on how long the season is and stuff like that so and even though Disney is going to have Disney plus is going to have like this huge back catalog they're still going to do that because it's like they want you there week to week wait for the next episode but at the same time while you're here waiting for the new next episode of something like the Mandalorian for example or eventually later on down the road their Marvel TV shows we got all this back catalog of great Disney related stuff that you can watch so you know it's it's interesting the whole conversation 
and, and I mean, this is me just kind of talking about my perspective on it and just general, the whole uh, conversation of it. But my question ultimately is to you, how do you feel about this whole conversation? Like, do you prefer binging an entire series or season or whatever? Do you prefer binging content or do you want, like week to week? You know, because it also comes out of circumstances, you know, if it's something that you're getting too late in the party. Like, for example, if you're just watching Breaking Bad now, you can literally binge an entire series so you don't have to worry about it. But what if something is only like, oh, this show is coming back for its fourth season. Like, for example, Van Helsing is coming back for its fourth season literally next week. So it's like you can binge on seasons one, two, and three on Netflix. But then, like, when the show actually comes out, it's like, oh, but you're going to have to go week to week. So it's going to take that adjustment period, especially if you, and I've been in that situation where there's so many shows I binged on until I caught up and now I'm doing week to week well once again I don't mind but it is takes a little bit of an adjustment period to kind of get used to it if you transition into going from binging to week to week to like that so like like I said this is my mindset I'd love to know where you stand in the whole situation just like let me know your thoughts in general about it but really that's all I want to talk about so next time meet be happy be safe we'd like to the fullest and enjoy it good day and good Bye.